Okay, so we want to look at clipping of a signal. So I just made a standard common emitter amplifier here, and we want to look at the output, and you see it has a nice sinusoidal signal kind of centered right around here. I also made a reference sine wave to see what it looks like. So you can kind of see that these two signs look very similar. Well, what we want to do now is we want to make the signal bigger. So we're going to come in here and change the input to 25 millivolts. And we're going to change our reference signal. Okay, so if we run this, you see now our signal is bigger. And if I look at my reference signal, you see they look a little different. So the red one, which is our output, looks skinnier down here and a little bit flatter on there. So it's not quite as sinusoidal. This is because we're no longer in the small signal approximation and we start to call this clipping. But in this class, we're going to say, oh, that's about sinusoidal. That's close enough. So now we're going to come in and we're going to change this up even farther, up to 35 millivolts. Change our reference sign so we can see what it looks like. And so if we look at our signal now, and let's look at it with the reference sign so you can see what's really going on you can see that this one goes flat on the bottom even though the sine wave should be curved. And if I look up at the top, you see it doesn't go flat, but it's definitely wider on the top. So it's kind of hard to tell is that clipped or not. It's much easier to see on the bottom when it clips. And so we have to get something a little bit more arbitrary on the top. So let's look at what we want our clipping to be. Let's start with the bottom, since the bottom's a little bit easier because it tends to be this flat section right here. So we're going to go to our data sheet for the 2N3904. Okay, and so we're going to look at these on characteristics. So here is our base emitter saturation voltage, and you see that if we're running about 10 milliamps, you know, it's in the around the 0.65 to 0.85. You see these are the min and the max values that it can be. So it's going to range anywhere from 0.65 to 0.85. That's why we've been using 0.7 volts. Now the collector emitter, when it goes into saturation, you see they use about 0.2 volts. So it isn't 0.7, it's about 0.2. So if I go look at this, let's see what LT spice. So this is about 0.1 volts. So what we're going to do is we're going to use for our bottom clipping, for our bottom clipping, we're going to use 0.3 volts from the data sheet. From the, from the top, it's a little bit harder, but we're usually going to use like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 volts for clipping on the top. Or like, you know, 5 or 10, you know, like 5% off of the value. And so you can kind of see that's where these come from. So again, we're going to use 0.3 on the bottom because of the data sheet. And the top is a little bit more arbitrary, but we're going to use anywhere from 0.1 to 0.3 volts on the top.